Hey smileys, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you are new, please subscribe if you like good vibes. Let's talk about braids. I love braids. They are by far one of my favorite protective styles of all times. And I've worn faux locks, I've worn passion twist, I've worn other protective styles, and none of them hit quite like braids. Not for me, not in my opinion. I just, I love them. They're low maintenance and easy to maintain. They're long lasting. They're just a no fuss hairstyle. You wake up and go, you just wake up and go. It doesn't get any better than that. That's why I love them. But even though they are a long lasting style, I've had these in for about six weeks. I'll probably wear them another two weeks and then I'm gonna take them out because I actually have a hair appointment at the beginning of October and I like to give my hair, my natural hair, a little time to breathe between hairstyles. There are a few things that I like to do to my hair to maintain the style and care for my natural hair at the same time because even though it's a protective style, you do have to make sure that you're still caring for your natural hair while it's in the protective style. So with that said, let's get to it. Okay, so here's what they just look like at this time. They're quite long. These are actually, I don't know if you can see the full length in the camera, maybe not. But these are actually hip length knotless braids that I had put in or installed at the end of July. So like I said, about six weeks old. And they don't look bad at all. Here's what the ends look like. Can you get a good look at the ends? So some people like to get curly ends. I always opt for just keeping the ends straight. Okay, so the products that I'm using right now, I have been known to switch my products from time to time, but what I'm using right now on my braids is from the Lotta Body Coconut and Shea Oil line. And I keep it really simple with my braids. You don't have to do a lot. You don't have to do a lot. They just need oil and moisture. So first I like to go in with a strengthening leave-in conditioner, which looks like this. And I just kind of flip my hair side. And just row by row. saturate it. Okay. And then I just use my hands to finger through and really try to work it into my, the roots of my hair and my scalp. That was the leave-in conditioner. Okay. And now I'm going to use the Shea Mist, which is also by Lotta Body, and it's an oil. And I do the same process that I just used with the leave-in conditioner. Start from the back and go row by row and put in the mist. Work that into my scalp as well. so good scalp massage massaging the scalp regularly stimulates growth hair growth so it's a good idea to do this anyway whether you have in a protective style or not some scalp massage the scalp every now and then improve the blood flow and the circulation in the scalp and it feels good treat yourself don't cheat yourself you know I really like to rub it in especially towards the top where you know my natural hair is 
you know, towards the end, this is all just the fake hair, so I don't worry too much about that. But I do want to give some extra attention to the areas where my natural hair is braided in. Okay, and then third step, I like to use a bit of the foaming mousse. And mousse just helps with the frizzies. So as my hair grows out and I get a fair amount of new growth, so I like to use some mousse. Take a few pumps. And lay down the flyaways. That just helps make it look nice and neat. And another thing about these Lotta Body products, as I mentioned, they're from the coconut and shea oil line and they smell amazing. I was using the Cream of Nature Argan Oil products, but the last time that I had my hair braided, my braider or my stylist used these products and I loved it, so I went out and bought them to have at home as well. And so far, so good. Okay, so that's that. So they just feel really refreshed. They feel hydrated. My hair feels moisturized. My scalp feels, not, my scalp feels, again, moisturized. It feels conditioned. Okay, so then I just like to pull my hair back like so. And I'm going to touch up my edges a little bit, which is completely optional. There's no requirement to have baby hair or edges, despite what pop culture might tell you right now. However, first, I like to put in a few of my Kaleidoscope Miracle Drops. I'm almost out. But I'm actually just trying to thicken my edges a little bit, so I put this on my edges. And it's in a dropper, which I love. It makes it really easy to apply. And you always know how much of the product you're using so you don't waste it. So I just go in and put a few drops on my edges. It's raining again, you guys. But it's finally starting to feel like fall outside. Finally. So we have our miracle drops applied. I just like to really work it in a little bit. Now, I'll go in and use my Shine and Jam Edge Magic. Okay, and then there's one final thing that I like to do to my braids, as I mentioned, just to maintain the style and also care for my natural hair. So hang on, one more thing. This is just a pot of hot water. You can probably still see the steam coming from it. Get a quick facial while you're at it. Okay, but what I like to do is dip my hair in the hot water and it helps minimize and control the frizz on the ends. So, let's see, I'm gonna put a towel around my shoulders. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Mm-hmm.